We're going to step away from our homepage for a little bit, and we're going to talk about posts. As you may have recalled, I changed my website so that the posts are now showing on the blog page. My posts are going to display here, and because I have more than 10 posts, I have a second page which is going to show my additional posts. You may want to adjust how many posts are going to show, and we're also going to incorporate some images to make our posts a little bit more visual. So let's work with the posts. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dashboard, and if we go to settings, reading, this is where we can control how many blog posts are going to show per page. So currently it's on 10. If I change this to 9 and save changes, and we go back to the front end portion of our website, you can now see that just nine posts are gonna show. And then the user would have to go to the second page or click next to see the additional posts. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our posts and we are going to add some featured images. I'm gonna start off by going to the most recent post and I will click edit. I'm going to open up the sidebar, and this is where we can set the featured image. I'll click on this, and I'm going to choose an image to add for this post. I do want to point out that the size of my image is a square image. I'm going to be using some different sizes because I want to show you what happens by default. I'll set the featured image. I'm going to save, and let's just modify a couple of our other posts. I'm going to go to the next post here and click Edit. I will set the featured image once again. This time I'm going to use this image. Notice that this image has a slightly different aspect ratio. It's a little bit more rectangular. I'll set this as the featured image and hit save. And then we're going to just do this for right now on one of our other posts. I'll go to the next one right here and click edit. I'm going to set my featured image and we'll find a picture of some succulents. And let's use this one. The aspect ratio is 600 by 400. So this is also a rectangle, but it's more wide than it is tall. I'll click set featured image and we'll hit save. If we go back to the front end portion of our website and we'll go to our blog listing, you can see that most of these images do not look very good. The third one is the one that looks the best. And that's because with the theme I have installed and by default, the aspect ratio matches the size of that third image. And if we resize our page down, this is what it looks like on mobile. It's really not looking great, especially these first two posts. So this is problematic. You really want to avoid having your images scale in such a way because they just look terrible. And they're going to look even worse if you have images of people or animals or something. But in my opinion, this looks horrible. So let's see what we can do about this. I'm going to go back to my WordPress dashboard and we're going to go into appearance, customize. And one of the options that we have here is that we can adjust the blog. So I'm going to click on blog and you can see that we have two options here single post and the blog archive. Our post page is currently displaying as the blog archive. This is going to show us how all of the posts appear on the page. And let's just click on blog so we can view this page as we make these changes. This is the container layout. So we are currently using the default. Normal is going to look extremely similar. We also have narrow, which is going to make our posts appear a little bit more narrow. And then we have full width, which is going to allow them to display full width. I prefer default or normal in this case. You can also choose if you want your containers to be styled by default or unboxed or boxed. And boxed is the default. Then we have a sidebar layout. So this is going to control how our sidebar would show. I don't currently have a sidebar, so I'm just going to leave this at default. And then down here we have the blog layout. So we're currently using the grid layout. We can do more of a list, which is going to display the images to the left and then have the title and the excerpt appearing to the right. You can also augment the post per page here. We changed that in our settings, but this is another place you can modify it. And then we have a cover 
layout, which is going to put the text over the image. The images look a little bit better here, but I think the text is very difficult to read. There are ways that you could control this by putting an overlay on the images that would need to be augmented under the design area. For now, I'm going to go back to the grid layout, and then we have the content width. Currently, we're using default. We could use custom and type in a content width. I will leave mine at default. And then down here it is going to allow you to augment your post structure. So currently we are showing the featured image. If we didn't want the featured images to show, we could just turn this eyeball off. And now none of them are going to show, but we do want to work with these. On my blog archive page, I don't want to list the categories, so I'm going to turn those off. And here's my title. We have the post meta which is the author and the date. And if we open this up, we can control how these things are separated. So you can use a slash, a dash, an I-beam or a dot, or just have no separator. I'm gonna use I-beam on mine. We are currently showing our excerpt. So you could show full content, which if you have long blog posts, that really makes your page way too long in my opinion. So I will keep mine at excerpt. And you can choose to turn on the author and have a read more button. So a read more button is going to add this little link so that users know that they can click these. I think on our post page that is pretty intuitive, so I'm going to turn that off. But if that's something you want, you could easily add that. Finally, for the metadata, we can control like if we just want the date and we don't want the author, we can turn off the author and just display the date. You can also decide to show comments if any users have made comments, which we haven't had those yet. Categories can show up here, so you don't have to display them as their own line item, but they could be bundled with the metadata. And the same thing with tags. I'm just going to leave the date on here. And those are the things that we can modify in the free version without upgrading to Pro. We're going to now move on to design. And this is where we can augment some of these settings that we were talking about before. So currently we can adjust the border radius. This is set to six, which just gives us a little bit of rounding. I think that's fine, but here's where you can augment that. If you want to change the post size title, you can change how this displays. Having this at 20, I think is sufficient. And then the meta font size, that's this information right here. If we want to reduce that down a little bit, we could make that uh, slightly smaller. So I'll put mine at 12. So that is pretty much it for the design. We're going to go back to general and I'm going to scroll down to featured image. We're going to expand this box and here is where we can adjust the image ratio. So currently we're using a 16 by nine image ratio. If I change this to a one by one, you're going to see that now the square image looks pretty good. This image is being slightly stretched and now the third one looks really bad. Four by three, again, maybe the last one looks okay. The other two don't look so great. And then two by one is going to pretty much squish them all to some extent. The issue here is that we're using images that are different sizes. Probably not a great idea when you're working with WordPress. So what I suggest you do is you decide on the aspect ratio that you want to use and you make sure that all your featured images are prepared at the same aspect ratio. That's going to make them look more standardized and you're not going to get this weird scaling. In addition to these predefined settings, we could go to just original, which is just going to put them in at their original sizes. Obviously now our images are not being scaled, but the issue is, is that they're going to all be different sizes. And I just feel like this doesn't make your post archive page look quite as nice. And you can also go to custom and you can specify the actual width that you want and the height that you want. So you could actually plug in custom values. This is going to work a little bit better because what's going to happen is it's going to crop the images. So you can see that now they're the same size and it's just kind of cropping them off. And obviously we can come in here and we can adjust the height of these. We can adjust the width of them, whatever it is that we want, but at least they're going to look 
pretty much standardized and it's not going to unproportionately scale them. I'm going to go back to predefined because I have prepared images that are a size that's going to work. So I'll show you that. But before we move on, we have hover effects. You may have noticed that when I hover over these kind of like zoom in, we could have them zoom out, which just means they scale down. And then none is going to have no zoom occur. I kind of like the zoom in, so I'll leave that. Image size, we can choose different sizes. So we're currently using large. If we go down to medium or even thumbnail for this particular theme, it's not really changing anything other than the resolution of our images doesn't look so good. So on thumbnail, it's taking a thumbnail version of the images. I'm not sure why it's not really doing it here, but it doesn't look great. And then we have these plugged in like custom sizes. I'm gonna leave mine at large because my images at least look nice and crisp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some different images so that we can improve the way that this looks. I will hit publish to accept these changes and let's deal with the images first. So the thumbnail images, let's flush these out and get these looking the way we want. I'm gonna click the X to close out of here. I'm going to go into my media and I'm going to add some additional media files. So I'm going to click add new media files. I have prepared 12 images for my posts and I have sized these to be at the aspect ratio that I currently want to be using in my website. I did that in my image editing program. I'll select the images and click open. They're going to upload into WordPress. And if I click on any of these images, they all are 600 by 400. So all of these new images, I've sized them all. So they're the appropriate size. They are what I want to use for this particular portion of my website. So now that I have those, I'm going to go back to my posts area and we're going to edit these and we're just going to replace the featured image. I have featured images. This is called T post 12 which is for Terra DM post 12. I'll hit save. I'm going to go back to the next post and we're just going to do the same thing. We'll replace this image. I have another image that I've made for this one. We'll set this save. And what I recommend is when you first set up WordPress and you're making your posts, go ahead and and add a featured image, you know, decide if you want to use a featured image and then prepare the images that you use so they are at the right size. That's gonna save you a little bit of time, obviously. I just wanted to kind of show you what happens if you don't have images that are optimal and maybe don't look exactly how you want them to look, or the fact that maybe you weren't aware that using images of different aspect ratios could cause problems. So we've done this on about four of our posts. You get the idea. I'm just going to quickly add the other images for my additional posts, and then I will show you what we're going to do next. All right, now I've added images to all of my posts. And if I refresh and here I am on the blog page, you can see that all of my images look great. This has really enhanced my blog page. I think it makes it much more compelling for users to want to click and discover more about this particular post.